Alright everyone, I've got one serious mess of broken down thunderbolts here. Um, these are the two single phase 1003s uh, that were on eBay, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably saw them on there for sale. Uh, they both blew down in the wind, they both snapped off their utility poles and came crashing to the ground. Um, luckily they do both function so far, um, well they didn't function properly as sirens but uh, but the choppers run. Um, tested one rotator motor for sure and that one runs um, haven't tested this rotator motor yet but I imagine it will work that was the better of the two um, one complete good gearbox one gearbox that broke off its mounting base but uh, the innards and everything all still still function so I'm gonna probably get that welded back up um, got a lot of sheet metal to straighten out here that got battered up probably uh, probably end up either having some new panels made or maybe I'll just make them myself once I look into it a little more it shouldn't be too bad to make I'm sure um, here are the bow ties um, show you here man I got a mess to clean up down here just kind of got them all over the place just so I could get them in here um, so I could start working on them um, here's the the bad bow tie of the two here uh, I don't know if it's some kind of helicoil job just got destroyed when this came down the horn broke off um, Luckily the horn is all right, and it's just this so I've got three bolts uh, Broken off flush in the holes and one other hole. that's all goofed up here um, This is the one that I'll probably convert into a 1000 T. I'll probably just take this bow tie off um, and uh, run it as a 1000 T 5.6 port um, because I don't have enough parts to make two 1003s again. Um, here's my slip rings for the solenoids for one of them. My slip ring brushes for the solenoids. I don't have either of those parts for the other one here. Um, I had to get rid of those right away. Split the package up with a guy, uh, another member of the siren board here. So, he got part of it, but I got most of it here. Um... Here's a 5.6 chopper, um, the rest of the motor here, brushes and everything seem to be pretty good, bearings, uh, bearings, I don't know, they seem to roll out alright, but while I have it apart I'll probably end up changing those out, might as well, um, here's one of the slip ring sets for the, for the chopper motor, there's another slip ring set, um, some solenoid covers back there, a whole bunch of bolts and stuff, um, a solenoid, um, and uh, again with the sheet metal here, I mean you can see this, this one here is probably going to have to be replaced for sure, it's pretty much shredded, uh, when it came down, these came down real hard, so, uh, blower and everything was on the utility pole, everything just came down. Um, if you guys saw them on eBay, you probably saw the pictures. Um, but, uh, but here they are, broken down. I've got a lot of work in front of me, but, uh, it should be a fun project, and when it gets done, it should be pretty rewarding. Um, we've, uh, let's see, what else do I have to show you? Oh, I'll walk over here. Take a walk over this way. Um, got an RCM1B, RC3. And a Cyrotrol box there. Um, head into the movie room over here. Fire up the light. Got an AF timer out of the deal. It's in great shape. Um, and actually, uh, when I got it, the yellow indicator light didn't work. But, big thanks to Eric Green. Show you guys here and plug this in. There's my orange indicator light working, um, timer, everything works great on it. I hooked it up to uh, to the RCM1B and the RC3 panels together and uh, fired those up all as well there. Um, everything functions as it should. Here's A horn. 
Um, the other horn is at my parents in their in their shop sitting for now. So, um, yeah. Well, I guess uh, you guys will see more videos as I progress in the restoration here. But thank you for watching for now.